Welcome to the podcast, episode three. I've got a very special guest today, uh, Ms. Selly, uh, Ms. Kelly Sue DeConnick. Uh, <laughs> I like Silly Koo DeConnick, Yeah, yeah, too. Silly Koo. Yeah. I'm Kelly Sue DeConnick, and I'm writing the new Captain Marvel book. Our take is uh, Captain Marvel as Chuck Yeager, starring former Air Force pilot Carol Danvers, uh, who you may have known previously as Ms. Marvel, in a flight suit, kicking butt. Uh, he called and was like, hey, uh, hey, listen up. Uh, you're not writing Ms. Marvel. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's cool. I totally understand how these things go. I mean, nice. I'm a professional and nice, all. Nice to get a personal call anyway. Yeah. And, uh, and then he's like, because you're writing Captain Marvel. <laughs> Did you end up doing a lot of research into uh, like military and, and, and flyers and astronaut programs and all that kind of stuff? Because the, the script certainly seems to reflect a real comfort with the, you know, with the lingo, et cetera. Ah, yeah, you know, um, I, it actually started, it, it started with that. Um, uh, I mean, that my interest in um, lady pilots and particularly <laughs> um, uh, uh female military pilots predates my interest in Ms. Marvel. I grew up on an Air Force, on various Air Force bases with my dad, oh, wow. uh, who was a, he's, he's, he is a civilian pilot or a pilot in his civilian life, um, uh, was not a pilot in the military, but has always had a great interest in aviation history. Wow. Um, and so that was kind of a bonding thing for he and I. And then I heard about the women air service pilots of World War II. But what I did not realize was that because they were technically civilians and not military, when they were killed in the line of duty, which happened to a good number of them, the women themselves had to take up a collection to get the bodies home. They got no uh, veterans benefits. Um, they weren't an, until fairly recently, I think it was in the 2000s, that they were actually recognized as veterans. Um, and uh, a lot of these women posthumously given that honor. Um, so it, it, it was really, it was the kind of thing that, uh, that both broke my heart and made me furious to the point <laughs> of cheating. Um, and, you know, when you get that kind of emotion, then it's good to maybe do something with it. Uh, so who's doing the uh, the interiors? A uh, gentleman by the name of Dexter Soy. It's almost Zeppelin-esque, you know? It's like, it's very metal. <laughs> you know? It's like, he likes like light coming from her eyes, and power and big. It's like the kind of stuff that should be on the side of a van. <laughs> Um, which is great, okay? I was in the Kiss Army. I am I am totally approved. <laughs> now, I have an embarrassing confession that I did not. Now, <laughs> I, I'm, uh, I tend to live in a tunnel where I'm reading news all about myself. Um, so that was mortifyingly honest. Um, but I did not know that your book had a female lead. Oh, yeah. Well, Not yeah. only yeah, a female lead, but Dazzler, hello. Dazzler, yes, indeed. Um, it's, uh, yeah, so so I'm writing Extreme X-Men. It's taking these characters that I introduced in uh, the Astonishing X-Men run I did, um, who are all alternate X-Men, different versions of X-Men from different universes. And through the hijinks of Marvel magic and science, uh, they're all together, and they're going to they're gonna be reality hopping on wacky adventures. I was talking to uh, Nick Lowe and Janine Schaefer and the other X-Men editors when they came up with the idea to to turn this into an ongoing. We were talking about who could who could we take from the current Marvel universe and throw into this group, and Dazzler's name kept coming up. And the first time it came up, I was like, oh yeah, that'd be fun. And the more I thought about it, the more sense it made. Her superpower is to transduce sound into light. She's a perfect sort of Cyclops analog in that, in the sense that she can, you know, generate and fire energy. We're going to see Dazzler's combat readiness uh, on full display during the course of this storyline. She's a survivor. She's she's been through everything. She's one of those Marvel characters, like all Marvel characters who have been around for decades. She's got like a ridiculously complicated past and so much soap opera right. and drama. And um, uh, but uh, but she's a pop star, right? You know, and so yeah. it's like she so that all that crazy convoluted past totally makes sense in that kind of behind the music. I've, I've seen it all. Uh, kind yeah. of way. You know what I mean? I have a uh, a mad crush on. Uh, 
on her new love interest. Oh, well, excellent. Glad to hear it. From the fe- so so that worked. Uh, <laughs> congratulations on that. That was great. Cool, I cool. expect to see fan sites dedicated to uh, Johnny Ito any minute now. <laughs> Who is your interior artist, by the way? Steven Segovia. Uh, he's awesome. We're doing some cuckoo crazy stuff, and he's totally going whole hog with it. So it's it's uh, it's fun. That's but, the best, isn't mm. it? We're doing a thing in issue two. I'm doing the uh, the female analog of uh, uh, the Howling Commandos. Oh, awesome! And um, yeah, I love them. <laughs> um, and I had um, I'd sent Dex Dex a, uh, a a splash from an old Howling Commandos thing, you know, where like they the, the guys all burst in and it's like, you know, a composition of the five of them with the uh with their weapons blasting, you know. And I was like, that I want that in lipstick, you know? <laughs> uh, and uh uh I saw it not final, but I saw it like uh with all of the grays laid in this morning and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, it's, it was it's, so great. It's, it's a good feeling. Okay. Uh, you can go to your local comic book shop and uh, ask for um, Captain Marvel number one, which should be out on July 18th. Uh, if you would like to pre-order the book, and I hope that you will, there are detailed instructions on my website at kellysue.com. That's K-E-L-L-Y-S-U-E dot com. More information than you could possibly want about uh, about pre-ordering uh, is up there. And if you're new to all of this, it's all explained. Awesome. Well, Kelly Sue, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it.